Well, uh, welcome to another Memphis Monday, Memphis Monday num uh, number 90. Uh, today we're going to be building a cabinet to put my new scroll saw on. So, and I got it sitting right here just to prove that we really do get it done in one episode. But we're not going to get anything done if we d unless we do what? Let's get to work. This is my old uh, scroll saw. It's uh, built by a company called uh, Power King, uh, which I believe stopped making. They were bought out and uh, stopped putting their name on stuff about 1950 or so. So this uh, thing right here is, you know, probably close to 70 years old. It's, uh, you know, well built, still works. I, I got an ad on the uh, on Craigslist to uh, sell it, or not sell it, but give it away, pass it on. Let's uh, go look at what I bought. This is a new uh, Porter Cable scroll saw. I basically got it because it the blade uh, will tilt to the right, and I kind of wanted that. Roughly the same dimension as the old one, except, you know, it's 70 years newer. Let's look at the cabinet we're going to build for it. There's a cabinet we built last week or finished last week for the uh, bandsaw. <coughs> I mean for the uh, <coughs> belt sander. And there's our little table we built for the um, spindle sander. And we're going to build a, a cabinet very similar these for our new scroll saw. My goal is to upgrade all my furniture uh, to this same design. This uh, design here like you know, my drill press is on. Same design as um, my large toolbox. And the same design I use here on my uh, wood box. There may be some uh, extraneous sun uh, coming in the shop uh, messing up some of our shots because uh, I got the uh, shop door open and I got this uh, old scroll saw sitting in the doorway because I got a guy I'm passing it on to a young fella and he's gonna he's on his way to pick it up now I didn't go to a lot of effort uh, to make up a drawing because since we've made so many of these cabinets um, this thing is just going to be a, basically a 24 by 20 box and we'll put four uh, drawers in it and then my scroll saw will fit right up here on the top. Now in our prototype from last week if you recall we we put a rabbit around uh, our structural pieces and we put this eighth inch piece of uh, board in serve as a back. We're not going to do that on the uh, piece we're doing today, the project we're doing today. Uh, the back is going to be an actual structural piece of the cabinet. Let's go look at it. For today's project, we're still going to put a rabbit in here, but we're going to carry the half inch or the three quarter inch plywood all the way around uh, the piece. So the back here, this is the back right here. This will be uh, a structural member of the uh, cabinet. Okay, I've already put uh, glue down in the rabbit and I've decided which side of this maple plywood I want to be on the outside. And then this will sit right in that rabbit. Okay, now I'm going to drive 16 gauge inch and a half brads into this um, rabbit.
Okay, what I'm doing here is cutting out the stock for the uh, top and the bottom. It'll take uh, a total of four uh, sheets of plywood because I'm putting a double sheet of three-quarter inch plywood both on the top and the bottom. I like to use bigger nails here, but they have a tendency to bug out on me. Here I'm putting the top on. I'll shoot it. I'll shoot it into place with some brads around the edges. Uh, but then. But then I'll flip it over and drive screws from underneath to pull it down tight. So now I got those uh, screws started. Okay, and finally I'm putting the, uh, the last double bottom on. Now this one, I'll uh, screw it also, but I don't have to screw this one from the inside. I can, I can screw this one from the outside. I got the uh, carcass roughed out. Let's take this thing down here and uh, put it on the floor and see what the, uh, the scroll saw is going to look like uh, mounted on top. This is also a good uh, opportunity to see if, uh, if I can... Uh, lift this thing off this table. Piece of cake. Well, there's a the carcass with wheels. Uh, let's uh, roll it over to the scroll saw and uh, put it on there. All right, that's a scam. Uh, what, what we got to do now is uh, uh, trim it out, build four drawers, uh, four drawer fronts with handles, and put a little stain on it, and we'll be we'll be golden. Well, what I'm doing here is just putting a trim on. Tell you what we're going to do. I'll, uh, I'll work on this uh, trim. Pretty repetitive. And come back when the, uh, put the cabinet front in place. Yeah, I got the, the uh, trim that inch and a half trim all the way around and on the cabinet front I just continued that theme uh, and put the same trim on the uh, cabinet front. So what I'm doing now is uh, just uh, installing a wrap around. Let me show you that. Okay, to keep the thing from looking too funny I I brought this the cabinet front trim out to the edge of this other trim. Now, what that does is it leaves a three-quarter of an inch uh, gap here uh, where it comes out and meets it. So what I'm doing here is installing 
some wraparound trim. So this trim here will come will wrap around and kind of meet the others. And I'm using a pin nailer. Okay, it's uh, time to mark the mark the case for uh, drawer guides. Put my spacer in here. I hope you can see this spacer. It's 7.6 centimeters. Mark the first one. Put my second spacer in there. There's my third one. and cut it, make sure it fits. And then I go to working on the drawers. You just saw me cutting the dado uh, that will receive the bottom of the drawers. Here's the material I'm going to be using for the bottoms right here. And it'll fit right in that dado. Here I'm nailing up uh, one of the boxes. Well, the drawer carcasses are uh, finished. Uh, they're all, all identical. Let's start worrying about the bottom. With a dado that runs around three edges, and then the bottom will slide in to that dado. You can see right there. What I'm doing here is measuring the exact width of that dado. Because I can't get that wrong, because if I do, I'm hosed. Okay, so let's see how we did. What I did is I, I I did this witness piece here for the measurement and that will slide in there and I can run this witness piece all the way along there check my dado and I can run it right into the back dado and I can see that this measurement's going to work. Okay, you know the old adage, uh, measure twice and da da da. So I measured, so I set this, and I'm double checking it with this, with our witness piece here that we know uh, fits. My right side ought to be cutting this thing along its long side here, but I want to use this factory edge against my fence because I want these uh, bottom sections to be as square as possible. Okay, after all these uh, super accurate measurements, it's nice, almost refreshing to do something that doesn't require absolute precision. Okay, slide this in here. Now, this thing is going to be nailed against this, this bottom piece here. 
I'll just reach under there and measure and mark it. Okay, now this goes in here. Okay, there's no glue. Slides into that notch. Okay, now the magic happens. Secure this whole box together by just putting some uh, staples. everybody fits. Well all the drawers, uh, <clears throat> drawer boxes fit. Now what I'll do is I'll install the uh, drawer slides. I think I'm going to install them uh, on the center line of the drawers. Okay, everything's uh, sure turning out uh, mighty easy today. Let's go look at the next uh, part of the project. Okay, the next thing we need to do is make these drawer fronts here. There'll be four of them stacked up just like this, only they'll be a little bit wider. Uh, my intention is to copy these as close as possible because I want the furniture to match. Okay, let's knock off the chatter and get to work. Okay, I got my stop block set at uh, 20 inches. Double check it. Here on the prototype, you can see the rounding over detail. Um, this uh, quarter round with this little edge right here, and that's quite a bit. That's quite a bit uh, to take off an oak. Let me go set that up on the router. Well, of course, if you have watched uh, any of my other drawer making videos, you know that the brads we put through in there were just to, to uh, hold it temporarily until I attach it with screws. Staining it with a color called natural. That's the uh, that's the color we've been uh, doing all these cabinets with. It looks real good with the maple and the oak together.
All right, there's our little trifecta of tables, our spindle sander, belt sander, and then our latest addition, our sander for our scroll saw. It's got uh, those high dollar 175 pound test uh, locking wheels, all four corners. It's uh, oak on maple with these high dollar stainless steel 100% pull out drawers with 75% or 75 pound test so we didn't screw the pooch on this one well that'll do it for another uh, uh, Memphis Monday Memphis Monday 90 building this nice little uh, cabinet uh, for our scroll saw. Uh, thanks for playing along. I think you got uh, a few takeaways out of this deal. So what I'd like you to do is uh, uh, comment and tweet and post and Facebook and uh, all that stuff you do on the internet. But most important, what? Yep. Make sure you're back here next week for another exciting Memphis Monday. Thanks for watching.